the Chinese story. So that little boy there is called Levi. So this four Chinese words below that is a Mo Chu Chen Zhen, which means that he he was when he was young he was studying. So he is a very famous Chinese uh, scholar who has written a lot of poems and you know uh, like by the uh, and endorsed by the emperor, so to speak. When he was young, he uh, was reading a very, very thick book, and he's like, oh, you know what? I really, really cannot be bothered to read this. After the first few pages, like this is ridiculous. I chucked it and went out to play. And along the river, he saw an old lady over there, just grinding a huge bar of iron. It's grinding on a stone, and uh, he was asking, um, "Ma'am, may I ask her uh, what what are you doing?" And the old lady said, "Oh, I need to uh, get a needle to do some sewing to to, to mend my clothes." I said, "Okay." That's not a needle. That's a big bar of iron. I said, I know that. I'm slowly grinding it to become a needle. Then the boy was like, What? How long have you been doing this? And then the old lady said, It really doesn't matter. I know that every day if I grind, a little bit comes off, and soon it will become a needle. So we have to work hard if we really want what we want. We have to really, really work hard. And this is where I remember when I was uh, when I was in the UK when I was doing my bad degree. <clears throat> um, it wasn't easy. After the first year, I, my father rang me to say that, uh, "Look, son, there's no more money." Uh, so I sell out. And I'm like, "What?" So and that was when I uh, had to uh, graft. So throughout my whole four years, because it was five year degree, first year was okay. Didn't do too much over there. Just understanding the whole UK uh, system and just settling in. But after that, when my dad told me there was no more money, and for the next four years, you know, I always had three jobs on the go. So I was always working in the bar, uh, in the kitchen, scrubbing pots, and also at the front of house at the reception in my hall of residence, uh, playing uh, receptions. So, so I understood that I had to do what I need to do to get what I want, and that is where I would encourage. Everyone, you, to if you have a dream, that it's not an easy dream. You have to work hard and keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And after that, push some more, because there is no shortcut. There is no app for it. There is no, um, there is no, there's no course that you can take to shorten your your the sort of progress rate. It is working hard, making mistakes, failing. You know, we fail. Fast, we fail big, we fail often, but we fail forward. And to get good at anything, you have to fail before you can start to see the success. And that is one thing which, in the entire society, I wasn't taught to fail. When I was young, when doing exams or tests, when you fail, it's big red, big X. Like whoa, <laughs> nobody taught us to fail, and that is one big skill which. I feel in your education, that's not really taught. You must get the best. You must be the best. Then yeah, you are setting yourself up for failure, so to speak. And you do not know how to fail. So it's not very good. But you know, we must work hard because when we keep grinding, that metal, that piece of metal, at some point of time, it will become needle. So we work hard. Don't give up. Just keep working hard.